Look, fellas, when it comes to getting the God roll, you know how it is. Every small incremental percentage can make all the difference. And very often, it could be that this difference is between winning that trials match or surviving a raid encounter or getting that coveted exotic, which is why we have partnered with Upside. Upside helps us earn back a percentage of the money you spend each and every day. You see, guys, Upside partners with over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants, all of which will get you cash back on daily essential purchases. I literally use upside the other day when filling up my gas tank. Keep in mind, this is not points. This is real cash that you get back transferred right into your bank account. What's so amazing here is you don't even need to switch payment methods. You just link the current card you have now to the app, which is incredible because every single one of these deals is normally like, hey, sign the dotted line, get this new credit card, and hopefully let's get you into some debt so we can start accruing that interest. But that's not the case here with upside. On average, upside users earn $300 per year. And this just shows you how much those small purchases add up over time. So again, if you're interested in trying this out today, you could download Upside and use promo code ASCROSS. And this will get you back 25 extra cents of every gallon on your first tank of gas. Big thanks to Upside for sponsoring today's video. All right, now let's read this article. Destiny 3's project Payback is rumored to have been in development since 2022. This is from Zahad here, published actually today. Following the rumor of Bungie developing Destiny 3 under the code name Payback, the same Reddit account now claims that the project Payback has been in development for at least two years. The speculations surrounding the development of Destiny 3 code name Payback have sparked a lot of speculation within the Destiny community. This week, the Reddit account responsible for disclosing information about the new Prismatic subclass and the rumored Destiny 3 a month ago has provided further clarifications. By the way, before we go any further, this was the Reddit user that said that we were going to get a class called Prism. Everybody was just like, what's this guy smoking? And it turned out to be true. So now everybody is essentially taking what he says as gospel. I don't know if we should go that far. Again, timelines change very, they can change very fast. And I don't know who his sources are, but or her sources are. Now, Destiny 3's alleged development timeline. Since Tuesday, the Reddit account 3263827 this really his name or is this like something something else? Anybody ran these numbers? It just seems like a bunch of random numbers. What does it mean? All right, Reddit account has been actively posting the Destiny 2 leaks subreddit claiming that the development of Destiny 3 has been underway at Bungie for quite some time now, at least since Witch Queen a Destiny 2 expansion released in February 2022. Project Payback has been in development at least since Witch Queen, but heavily in the background, less resources than Destiny 2 or Marathon. The post reads, Destiny 3 is Destiny 3. Not a big DLC, not a revamp of Destiny 2. Destiny 3, as far as my most recent information goes, is a new game in the franchise. I will say this, for Sony to dish out as much money as they dished out, I'm not saying they didn't dish that money out for Destiny 2 or money for Marathon, whatever Marathon may be. But hold on. We could be on the cope train right now. What if Bungie sat Sony down and gave them a demo of Destiny 3 and said, this is our goal. How much would you pay for this? Let me just say this. If Bungie actually comes out and says, hey, we're working on Destiny 3, I will delete my entire vault and character. Matter of fact, characters, okay? On the day Destiny 3 releases, I will delete it all because we're going to be playing D and we're going to play D3. I promise you. But when Destiny 3 releases, because e even if Bungie said we're working on Destiny 3, dude, all the internal woes with Bungie right now, or at least from last year, I think I feel like they, they're on the right track now. But my concern is what if Destiny 3 doesn't actually ship? I won't believe it until it is in my hands and I am playing D3. Then you can have my, you can, I'll delete it all. All right. Another post from the same account clarifying that the code name Payback does not have any significance to the story of the final shape or the three episodes that follow it. Instead, the term payback refers to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. Now, that just seems like some made-up bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. You lost me there. I'm not gonna lie. You lost me there. Payback referring to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's just say this narrative is true. Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. It's like one of those whipping yourself moments. You know what I mean? As for other projects, from what we understand, Bungie is currently managing four different game projects simultaneously. These projects include Destiny 2, Marathon, Project Gummy Bears, and the rumor, Project Payback Destiny 3. Earlier this year, the company confirmed that it has over 13 or 3, 1,350 employees post layoffs with over 650 staff members working on Destiny. It is important to note that the information shared above is unconfirmed and should be taken with a grain of salt. It is worth mentioning that this isn't the first time we've heard about a Destiny game. In fact, Bungie itself hinted at a potential new game 
in the Destiny franchise. Yeah, that was when we thought we were going to be getting a Destiny like hero shooter, like we would be able to play Shaxx or Mara, you know, or Eris or any of them, right? That, but that was purely speculation. Last year, Bungie conducted a survey which was only available to a select group of fans asking if they would be interested in playing a new Destiny game. The survey also included a list of features players would like to see added to Destiny 2, including space combat, single player content, user generated content and more let me just say this guys if destiny 3 is being worked on it's going to be a very long time before we see that this same leaker also posted more information in the destiny 2 leak subreddit i need a link who is this person huh who is leaking this 2026 i'm thinking like 2027 i mean if it's been in development since 2022 it could not have been in heavy development the question is is how the hell do you make destiny 3 how do you make destiny 3 while still maintaining the content drops from beginning in destiny 2 oh my god <laughs> It's setting itself up perfectly. The final shape launches. Say it's a banging expansion. We'll put it up there with for a second. I know, copium. But we'll put it up there with for a second. Say Destiny 2, the final shape launches, though. It's great. We have some episodes that kind of pretty much just closes off some of those those loose threads in the narrative. We go and deal with Zivu or Wrath. We mess around with the Vex. Maybe, maybe we might just mess around with the Nine. But then after episode 3, Bungie comes out and says, hey, we're going to have some episodes here and there. But... Content on Destiny 2 is going to severely dry up because right now, all hands are on deck to make Destiny 3. The game we always wanted to make. The one that's going to have Forge. The one that's going to have custom maps. The ones that's going to have space combat and a single player experience that would rival that of the Halo days. This is maximum copium, right? But then they followed up with this. We'll see you again in 2028. How would you feel? Somebody drop me the link. Supposedly there's some some links of um, some other comments from this from this Reddit user. Do we take everything he says as gospel? I wouldn't necessarily say so. There were definitely talks. This matches up with like 2020. 2019 Bungie, there were no talks of a Destiny 3 ever happening. D3, completely out of the question. Don't ever think about it. 2020 rolls around into 2021. Suddenly, that became a conversation topic. So it, it kind of matches up with timelines that potentially there could be, I don't know, a handful of developers working on a potential D3. Again, ask yourselves, what is worth $3.6 billion to Sony? Destiny 2, a game that has already been out for nearly a decade. Well, not Destiny 2 itself. You know, Des Destiny, what it is now, right? A number of years, including Destiny 1 that came out in 2014. Or a true sequel. All right, so this is from this Reddit user. Further clarification for payback. Destiny 3 is Destiny 3, not a big DLC, not a revamp of Destiny 2. Destiny 3, as far as my most recent information goes, is a new game in the franchise. Okay, so essentially just saying what it was already said. To answer some of the comments, I'm still in contact with some of my sources. I can't share everything, but here's what I can. Project Payback has been in development at least since Witch Queen, but heavily in the background, less resources than Destiny 2 or Marathon. Last I heard about it was late summer of last year when I learned about the change to allow any guardian to use any ability also when he learned about prison uh in regards to this let me just say the person that's that's giving out this information you know they could be talking to someone that got let go from bungie they could be an an, an ex-employee themselves that that was uh let go from bungie but timelines do change and whether we are getting a d3 or not again i don't know it, it doesn't really matter to me because if final shape flops no one's gonna care i mean there's probably gonna be some people that care but i probably won't care so my focus is going to be on the immediate, the, the expansion we have coming up. What is going to happen after the third episode? Dude, we watched that Vidoc the other day, right? And Dan, Destiny, Destiny's uh, game manager, was asked that question from Pika. It was a look of like, I just been cornered. Pull up the clip. So episode four. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the look that I was talking about. So let's, let's, let's listen to this. So episode four. <laughs> Maybe. Awesome. Who knows? This is not a look of excitement. Pika just has episode four. And my man is looking off into the distance as if he just saw a ghost. <laughs> okay, look. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen in, in episode three, four, beyond. Uh, I'm just purely judging it off of this look. And what's so funny about this is right after this, I, I think Joe saves him. You know, you got to find out what happens in the first three episodes. <laughs> there we go. Joe, Joe's like, hey, oh, lay, brother. Let me pull you back real quick. I got you. I got you. Here's a, here's a fucking life vest. I'm just, I'm just saying, guys. I mean, listen. Who knows? Maybe maybe we've got episodes lined up for the next 10 years and they're going to be amazing. I'm just saying that that look, that kind of stuck with me. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.